And now that all of these LEDs have been tested, we're going to go ahead and start bending these long leads. So in order to do this, take your template, stick in your LEDs like so. There we go. So now what you want to do is you take your credit card type object. It doesn't have to be a credit card. Uh, and then just take it, push it all the way, touching all the uh, pins sticking up. Push it down so that it's right at the edge here of the LEDs. And it's touching all of these pins. And what you want to do is bend all of these uh, pins that are sticking up towards you. So that you have something like this. And then don't worry if they're a little bit crooked. That's okay, you could straighten that out later. So we have something like this. You have these two pins pointing to the right and these uh, pins that we have just bent pointing down. Now you just want to take out your credit card, pull it down. Then you want to, what you want to do is take your uh, wire cutters and we're going to go ahead and trim these leads. So the best way that I found to do this, uh, leaving enough material to uh, solder, is you want to cut uh, the leads right at the top of this uh, third hole from the top. So what you want to do is cut them to something like this. Something like that. That's the length that you really need. If you cut it a little bit shorter, that's okay. But ideally, this is what you need. And for those that are curious, that's about 0.585 inches. So about half an inch from the tip here to down here. So yeah, you want to do that to all of your LEDs. So now that all of these LEDs have been bent and trimmed to the proper length, we're going to start putting them into the LED holder and we're going to start soldering them together to form a matrix. So what you want to do is take uh, an LED segment of eight LEDs and place it at the very bottom of the uh, jig, the little LED holder. And then take another segment and place it over the top, just like that. So you kind of layer this segment over the top of this segment like that. And then another one. So now we have eight of these uh, LED uh, segments in a little matrix. So now what you want to do is solder this uh, lead to this lead and this lead to this lead. So basically you just want to solder all of these together, taking care not to bridge any of the connections between these and the wires going up and down this way. So that's the task at hand. So what I like to do is kind of pre-bend each uh, lead so it kind of lines up over the top of the next one so it's a lot easier to solder. So for example, this one here, uh, you can see it's kind of lifted off. What I like to do is bend it down a little bit and kind of wedge it next to the uh, one below it. Same thing for this one and for this one. So what I like to do is just do one, uh, one column at a time. So I arrange these and now I'm going to solder these. So I've went ahead and soldered this uh, row of LEDs together. And now we're going to go ahead and line up these and solder them into place. And basically you just want to do that to all of these LEDs. And you want to make six of these 8x8 panels. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through a heck of a lot of time. So that's pretty much the process. Just solder all these together and then pop the segment out and set it aside. So now that we have a full 8x8 LED matrix assembled, it's a good time to test to make sure that we have soldered all of these connections properly and that we haven't missed anything. 
So again, we're going to use our LED tester. We're going to switch it to the mode that uh, checks for shorts, that um, if you short the two clips together, the LED lights up. Basically, what we're going to do is for every uh, uh, line that goes this way, and there is uh, eight of them, what we're going to do is we're going to clip on one lead at the top, and one lead at the bottom and the LED should light up and because this LED doesn't light up in my case that means there's something wrong with uh, one of these connections so let's move the tester a little bit higher and okay it works here but not here so we have a problem right here and I'm gonna go ahead and fix that alright so I think I fixed that and there we have it so the LED lights up, that means we have all of these connections properly made. And now I'm going to move on down the line, testing each one of these uh, rows. So that we verify that all of these uh, connections have been properly made, I'm going to pop this section out by pressing down. I'm going to go ahead and visually verify that uh, none of the wire, none of the connections are crisscrossed. So you want to keep this, these uh, wires separate from these ones. So you have to have a little gap right here. So look over your uh, 8x8 panel and make sure that everything is gun dandy. And if you see a little connection that's being bridging, being bridged, what you can do is uh, grab the lead that uh, is having the problem. So let's say I have a bridge between here and here. I don't see a gap. What I can do is I can take my pliers and I can gently lift up the, this uh, wire here and fix that problem. And this part is kind of important because if you don't do it, you're going to have a bunch of problems. So visually inspect each and every one of these uh, connections. So that's that. So I have one of these done. Now I need to make a couple more.